Hey loves, thanks so much for tuning in. And today we're going to be making glitter vases with pillar candles in the inside. It's gonna be really simple, but very, very cute. So first off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first vase and you're going to apply glue to the top perimeter of the vase. So apply some Mod Podge to a paper plate. Get your paintbrush and just paint around the top of your vase. So that's the first layer. I'm going to go down just a little bit lower so that the top will be a little bit thick. Take your glitter of choice and sprinkle it over the glitter or the glue. And the amount that you use of the glitter is totally up to you. I want mine to be a little bit thick up top and just kind of have a fading effect like an ombre effect um, lower on the bottom of the vase. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the first layer of glitter there. Next what I'm going to do is take a very thin layer of the Mod Podge and apply it to the vase. It will be lighter so it won't catch as much glitter to give it a fading ombre effect on the vase. We don't want a whole lot of glue. So just gently with gentle brush strokes just glide your brush across the vase. I don't want it to be too thick and I'm going to just feather it down just a little bit to so make it kind of thick there and then just kind of wisp it down. I don't want this to dry so I'm going to take some glitter and apply it to the base. Take a little bit more glue and continue all the way around. And actually I think it'd be best to have breast strokes just lightly going down the base like so. And again, this glue does dry really fast, so just apply your glitter so it won't dry up. Shake off the excess. And that's about the design that I'm going for. So continue that all the way around. Okay loves, this is about the design that I'm going for. Just a fading effect going down. Here's what it'll look like once you've added a pillar candle on there. It will give it a beautiful illuminating effect once you light it and the glitter is reflecting off of there. It definitely will add some glam to your table. So let's go ahead and design the second vase. And here's the finished product. I went ahead and lit the candles so you can see the illuminating effect that the gold at the top gives to the vase. It turned out really cute. I hope that you guys found this tutorial very helpful. This was a lot of fun to make. Again, you can get these products at Hobby Lobby for this one. And this vase came from Dollar Tree. The candles I got from Michaels and the glitter from Michaels as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's been my pleasure to help you guys out with your event. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks for tuning in and you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.